It's not a tuberculoma. Can't be. I didn't know the biopsy was back. Her temperature's 105. The treatment's not working. It's cancer. She's dying. 105. Good news. It's a tuberculoma. How do you figure that? Her temp's through the roof. The lab results from the biopsy, it's definitely a tuberculoma. So, we're right about the diagnosis. And the treatment for that diagnosis is killing her. Perfect. The lab checked the biopsy again, twice. Well, the tuberculoma doesn't give you a temperature of 105. Then it's a tuberculoma and something else. The something else is going to melt her brain. Poach. Better metaphor. A fever that high has to be bacterial. Maybe the bowel got nicked in the biopsy. I did the biopsy. No nick. She could have picked up an infection on the streets. Well, she didn't have a fever when I admitted her. The Prozac we gave her could have triggered serotonin syndrome, which would explain no. the fever. No, Jefferson put her on Prozac, and it wasn't a problem. She probably never took it. Most likely, they saw her one time and dumped out of the ER with a script. Oh, just like you were going to do. OK, you two, grab some scalpels and settle this like doctors. Send blood and urine cultures and get a chest X-ray. Fine, take her off the Prozac and put her on bromocryptine for the serotonin syndrome. Might want to get her in an ice bath as well, assuming we want her to live long enough to see those test results. I said I was sorry. Your fever is 105. If we don't bring it down fast. Orman, why are you doing this to me? No, I'm saving your life. No, no, wait. So is the chest x-ray. I assume there's a positive coming. Lumbar punctures reveal elevated proteins and white counts. CSF cultures? It's still brewing. Nothing on gram stain. It looks like meningitis. We know it's definitely an infection, and we know where it is. Well, meningitis is nice and simple. Get her in isolation and start her on ceftriaxone. Either she gets better or she dies. Let me know which one happens. Oh my god, she was sedated. It must have worn off. I, I did it myself half hour ago. I'll check the nurse's station. Kellen Drake. She's gonna die out there. You don't walk out of a room with 10 milligrams of Haldol in your system. You don't walk at all. It was 10 milligrams. I gave it, it to her. It doesn't matter. Bacterial meningitis, highly contagious. If she is out of the hospital, we are so liable. Not to worry. She'll be dead before she can kill anyone. Security tape confirms it. She stole some clothes and she's gone. Wrong coat. The cape's in the closet. I had it cleaned. Funny. You gonna save her? In her comics, Mr. Fury lives in Sloan Harbor. The night she came in, she was at a rave at 1408 Sloan Street. You've been reading. My, how you've changed. You are a doctor. Do what doctors do. Pick up the phone, dial 911, and a cop on the other end does what cops do and finds the missing person. I assume the rest of you have doctor things to do. I know you do. 